Welcome back to part 7 of the Sima Yi campaign. We have made tremendous progress in the last episode. We took four cities, starting from Zhang Ren's one city faction in Yong'an. We took most of Northern Jing. Okay, did we take? No, we didn't take Jianling. We took Yong'an, Xianyang, Jiangxia, and Chai Sang, with a little help from Sun Quan, who took out uh, Xin Yi. So we've acquired all, well, more or less all of Ganning's officers, so this gives us a few more um, options for our army. I'm largely going to be sticking with the same forces I've been using because it gives me more variety in future playthroughs. If I use everyone in one campaign, then it becomes a bit repetitive in different campaigns. But just to highlight who we've now got, we've got Jiang Wei. He is a... Well, he's one of the better later game officers, high stats all around, courageous, cunning, uh, a mildly useful unique tactic, strength based ironically and not intelligence based for a strategist which is quite unusual. He's friends with Zhang Huai and Xia Hu Ba, who I also happen to have. Now, Zhang Huai, one of the Jin officers I was hoping to use earlier on, he has goose formation, he has a tactic which lowers enemies' abilities and does damage, he has tactful, which is the same ability that Simashur has, as far as I know it doesn't skip, or it doesn't stack, so it's of limited use when used with um, Sima Yi's army, but the fact that he's a backliner, which I don't have too many of at the moment, and this is just a source of direct damage, which I'm also lacking a fair amount of at the moment. He's a fairly decent addition to the army. Or, you know, reasonable leadership, high intelligence. I can use him in combination with Jiang Wei. Perhaps I make Zhang Wei, Jiang Wei, and Xia Ho Ba at a sworn brotherhood, and they form a little contingent of their own. Might do that later on. At Xia Ho Ba himself has Annihilator, so higher, higher. Um, leadership, not leadership, assault. High assault, so he does larger damage as a fish unit and especially as an arrow unit. Uh, Ministrant, so he's fantastic to use with everybody. He supports um, the officers around him, but he's also an he has the annihilator trait, so he also does quite a bit of damage himself. Um, no unique tactic though, but decent stats, good trait. And Ministrant is fantastic, so he is an, the officer that can always find a use in an army. Speaking of which, there is Jiang Ren, who I didn't talk about too much last episode. I've talked about him in previous videos, but you use Jiang Ren for Steel General. He is a defensive buff multiplier source, which there are a few of in the game. So if I put him in Goose Formation, stick him behind Sima Yi, even if he has a thousand troops and doesn't actually do anything, he'll enhance my main army he's a fantastic addition and just having vantage ground makes him better during defensive battles if you can bait the ai into attacking you mountain warlord and forest warlord are also good and he also doesn't suffer as much when his supply lines cut off so overall pretty decent other than that we're not sure if we've got anyone else uh, wen chao yan liang and yuan shao are can you know, continuing to disappoint. Not much to be said about that. But I will continue using them. I think we're going to use them up until the end of the campaign. We will find a way to make them work. And if we can't, then we're still going to use them anyway. And it'll be a source of um, continued defeats. Other than that, though, moving forward, Lu Jiang is my next target because I want to get a strategist with 100 intelligence. And between Shen Yu, Guo Jia, Shen Yo, easiest way to do it their administration is very weak they have no meaningful battle policies they have base 100 morale and if we have a look at their sort of military officers they haven't really got anyone that can cause us any trouble apart from the occasional fire attack so, and not only that but chai sang which we took at the end of the last episode has a merchant i don't know if we're able to do this with only one order Yes, I can. So, I am going to buy all the food that I can. We have the troops here because we played it quite safe with the surround and conquer. Meaning we didn't take too much damage from the city. I can launch an attack on Shen Yu, more or less, right away. I have Sima Yi in Jianyang. 
So I'm contemplating whether I want to make an aggressive attack on Xinyi, but because that is the last um, city in Northern Jing, which would give me control of the whole province, I think that would rank me up. And it would also potentially cause some uh, AI unification events. Might do, might not. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm not going to chance it. So I'm going to take Shen Yu first. While we get everything in position, I'm going to spend a few turns hiring as many of these officers as I can, starting with good old Lu Mang, of course. Looking to see if there's anyone else of any particular note. We've got a summoner. We have mm -hmm, anyone else? I got his father, so I might as well use him, just in case I need some um, water shenanigans. Yeah, but I think we've got pretty much the best of the officers already, so I'm just going to hire, and we'll see if we get attacked in the meanwhile. So we're in a position of what I can only call overkill. 70,000 troops in Shai Sang and enough food to support it, which is usually the bottleneck. So we are going to do what we've done before on previous occasions. Send this army out. Max strength this time. Ah, uh, dang I. Hmm. Are you going to join Sabuli and Shi? Did I marry you to... Yes, I did. To so, Bully and Shi. Anyone else we want to make use of? Not necessarily. Oh yeah, Hao Chao. So, I... No, I won't need to use the round formation for this. This makes it quicker. Sure, why not? Okay. We've taught him War Elephant. Let me see what this is all about, effectively. Don't want to empty the city in case Malten gets any funny ideas, so I'll leave that at that. Just in case you quick get caught on a little bit of damage. That'll do, that'll do. That'll do. Else. So the same army we've deployed a few times. I've also sent out Ganning and Su Fei to secure well there aren't really any ports for us to secure, but perhaps to go and sort of snipe the surrounding areas. So what I will do, I don't need to play this carefully, but I will just in case. Guo Hawaii and Sao Chen can move on to the port. There's probably a fire trap here or a pitfall, there always is. These guys can back off. Ganning and Su Fei. Careful not to approach too close to Marteng. Or we'll snipe around and take Ju Chao. And then maybe from Jiang Xia we will t send out. Hmm. You got snake, snake. No, you do. It's not very helpful. Right, these three. Why not? And I can just go get to get as slow as possible. Oh, it's, um, it's, you know, try to provoke a fight. We really don't need to do this for a 30,000 troop city when we're deploying 70,000 troops, but keeping the casualties down will let us move on to Shou Chen or Jian Yi next without having to wait too long. Okay, we got not a battle. 
wonder if they're going to come out and attack us. They might be building something there. I don't think it changes anything though. Be careful. And you carry on as initially scheduled. Maybe take the uh, safer route just in case. Yep, he's just waiting there, really. Is there a trap here? No! Okay. Uh, I am paranoid, I suppose, about being stung attacking this area far too many times. But the good thing is, even though Hao Chao's a siege weapon, if I keep him in the water, he's in fact a capable fighting unit because he is suddenly a naval unit. God, that's a lot of defence there. <laughs> Why do you? Oh, yeah. You don't get any benefits from the South Army, of course. But if I get Julian Shi in range, he'll be a little bit stronger. Ah, he's coming for us. Brilliant. Is he? No? Oh no, Julian Shi's in range. I mean, even Bu Lian, she isn't, well, she's not strong, but she can not die instantaneously against a crane formation unit with no bats. I'll move you in closer, move you back, this should all be okay, oh dear, oh no no no, that's okay, false alarm, it's just the bandits. And Jiang Wei's coming in from the side. Have I got any famous officers here? No, I do not, so... You will have to do. Because of the synergy of the four units and the fact that they're in a the very supported area, you can see Guoji is actually quite threatening. Not threatening enough, especially with our numbers, but that's a... He was, up until I destroyed his confidants, a fairly strong unit. Good thing I did get the 3,000 as an afterthought. And there goes his resistance. So at this point, I've not got really anything to worry about as soon as I take Shenyang. And maybe Shi Ting? Have you got room to get there in one turn? No. I should get a surround and conquer off against the city. So I'll start moving everyone up. Again, don't need to be this cautious, but I'm just playing it safe because these aren't my strongest officers. If it was Sima Yi and his family, then I wouldn't really need to be doing any of this, but it's not, so I'll just be a bit careful. Okay, he's not going to deploy anyone else to try and stop us, so... We'll get the free surround on the city. Oh, okay, no, never mind. I... Nope, get it. That's exactly what I wanted. This gives me a promotion, or is Jiaochi a large city? Okay, irrelevant. Hmm. I wonder. This is very reckless. I could try and snipe Hei Fei to get the surround on Li Yuan. Alright, I've got nothing to lose really. Just gonna get everyone in position slowly. And, yeah, you can see, nothing to worry about at all. I want to see how effective war, elephant, war elephants are, but I don't know if I'm going to have the opportunity to do so. So let's see if I can take it somewhat slow. Move everyone in without bulldozing the city. Keep everyone a safe distance. And try to avoid ganning 
making a silly little mistake. Okay, good. He's not deploying out of the city. And Janu wants Guojia back, which I'm going to say no to because I want to hire him myself. He's my candidate for my 100 intelligence strategist. Brilliant, provoke, so the siege weapon's not going to take any damage. And. Ooh, 2,000 troops and a huge chunk of durability. That's not bad at all. Can I get there without them deploying for me? Probably not, no. Well, let's see. Yeah, we're making quick work of this city. No, okay. That was predictable. Hefe is very surrounded and Ganning's going to lose this. So I'll ask those two to retreat. Today is not the day we take her fate. But today is the day we take Lujian. So everyone march in. Maybe not you. Everyone else. And the city falls. Brilliant. A new selection of strategists will be mine. Some of them anyway. One down. Two down. Ah. Gorgia, of course, is stabbing. But where Zhen Yu and Zhen Yo have joined me? Guojia is likely to follow. And of course these two got cut off in my own territory because why would they not? There we go. We got everyone we wanted from Lu Jiang. Liu Bei and Marteng are now in at war. I wonder what I might be able to do with this. So I do have a plus two intelligence item that I can give to Guojia, which promotes him to 100 intelligence, which subsequently lets him always give me accurate advice. Coincidentally, I've also got now a bank up in my administration, so I've got goose and fish at level eight. I, let's have a look, what else can I do? Do I throw siege weapons in there? I occasionally use arrow for fun, so I could finish off fish, but why not? I think I may be able to get Marteng to surrender, not while he is, not while he's only normal relations with me, but I might be able to do something. But first, I need to get promotion for. Chen Yu and maybe Zhang Yao. As I think politics is the stat that helps with the request for surrender, so maybe I give this plus 10 politics item to Zhen Yu, get him all the way to 111 <laughs> politics. If I were to try now, will that make a difference? No. What if I gave him. It's a good amount of gold. Not showing you. I don't want to get him to trusted, because that then he might want an alliance, but maybe 5,000 will do. Okay, Yuan Shu's army is just fallen, which means Sun Tzu is still growing. He's keeping pace with me, slowly falling behind in this episode, I think, because I'm now able to expand rapidly. But the, sh the final showdown's being set up. Uh, anyone else want to surrender? New Most people won't. But it's always worth checking. The way to do it is to keep um, positive relations with people. So for example if I go to Liu Biao uh, where are we troubled? And I give him What's a good amount of gold? 8,000? That might change things. Still no luck? Maybe I will try trusted. I, he might not surrender, but I just have a feeling he's 
sandwiched between two very scary factions, so why would he not? So I'll give you another 2,000 gold to get that to trusted. Maybe you'll be our one to surrender to us. We'll get somebody, I'm sure. We are very, um, very strong at this point. Jackpot. There we are. I got Martang up to trusted, and he will surrender to me. Now we'll Liu Biao. Okay, we'll get Liu Biao up to trusted, as he may want to surrender as well. Uh, you. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong, uh, wrong diplomatic interaction. I'm just um, boosting up relations with my neighbours here, seeing who might be tempted to surrender. There you go, Martin. Ah, hold on a second. Did I see who I thought I just saw? Okay, so Liu Bei's conquest against Martang's gonna have to wait as it's now completely irrelevant. Speaking of which, first thing we do, always do, get the Shanyer on side. However, okay, we need to get all the loyalty up. Do we have. Do we have. Come on, I hope you're here, I hope you're here, scrolling all the way down. No, not Zhu Liang. There we go, Sima Zhao, the last member of the Sima family that's been away from us. So none of these, um, none of these abilities are particularly good, but this is, and he is a Goose Formation Officer, so he is yet another backliner for the Sima army. So, Sima Chow. Off to join Sima Yi. I can then uh, start our attack in Jin Yi in earnest. And then, what do I do with Jugo Leong? So, I have here Ma Teng's officers. And the team and Zhu Guliang. So I could potentially look to use them to attack Liu Bei when the truce is up. I think that will be necessary. I've run out of orders, but I'll also need to change my administration a little bit, of course. So with Zhu Guliang as our strategist, we now have Pen and Sword level 8. What this means is we only need a single level 2 or higher policy in order to reach level 10, because Pen and Sword boosts all support category policies. So that's plus 8, the cap is 10. We've got max transport speed, we've got max supply, max military of course. And as we rank up, I can then get... Um, the facilities, if necessary, yeah, the catapults, if necessary, which they won't be at this point. So we are in a very, very comfortable position. I'm just moving everyone around. Make sure I'm recruiting here. Should have plenty of gold, I think. Yes, we've inherited all of their gold. So we've got 100,000 in GNG &E and more supplies than we'll ever need. Same goes for Wu. Even got a summoner here, which is handy. So, war with Liu Bei will probably be necessary, but it'll be interesting to see the uh, Ma family officers attacking Liu Bei. How long have this, has this alliance got? Six months. Okay, that'll be um, some action for the later part of the episode. Anyone else want to surrender? So, Liu Bei, Liu Biao does. Sima Shi doesn't. We'll get Liu Biao. There we are. It's um, <laughs> it's non-stop snowball from this point onwards. And look, all of those food and supplies and troops ready for us to access. Have we got good friendship with Sao Sao Chi? No, but we will fix that. No, we won't. We haven't got any gold. Man, we are burning through gold rapidly. All of this is um, 
it's been done, all this expansion has been done through diplomatic maneuvers this episode, which is quite nice. There we go, the UBL's joined us. So I might be able to make some further changes to our administration, which is absolutely crazy, even if I haven't got all the gold I need to support these officers. I mean, what have I got here? Friendship with Shania. 14,000 gold worth of rewarding in just one go. That is insane, but that is what happens when you expand through annexation like this. You burn through gold like nothing. In fact, it's almost worth moving Sima Yi over to uh, Chen Yi to make use of that gold for now, but I won't do that. But, I mean, if we have a quick look at our administration, what could we even do with this now? So, I don't actually need these boats anymore. I don't think. No. Um, or maybe for crossing Xin Yi. But I could, for example, I don't need level 10 boats for that. Say all right, will you be out? That gives me that. Gives me so between that, I'd have max some um, exp increasing. I don't need the arrow formation. So I could get rid of. See, this is ridiculously suboptimal. But for example, I don't need reorganized military level five, so I can have them. Um, um, level 3, that still gets me to 10. Don't really need that if I wanted to remove that. So now um, I'll, my officers will increase uh, in experience a lot quicker. Which is not really that useful, but I like it. Sauri wants an alliance. He's going to give me gold for it and he won't surrender. So I'll use that gold to hopefully buy an alliance with Sao Chi. If he doesn't decide to try and take these areas back. Oh, sorry, a little surrounding conquer here. Make the map a pretty green colour. And Sao Chi, even at normal relations, is prepared to surrender to us as long as nothing changes in four turns, or three and a half turns, which might as well be four. <sighs> so, can I do it like this? No. So, if I take everyone. I don't want to use all of my gold at once. Everyone who's genuinely disloyal and doesn't just want to top up. Is there anyone else who will surrender? Nope. 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 That's okay. I don't need everyone surrendering to me at once. Just everyone I have here is good enough. Okay, so this isn't the interaction I was talking about earlier. I'm just trying to make Zhang Fei friendly in case he'll surrender, given I now border him thanks to the surrender of Sao Chi. And that expands my border quite a bit. I am now also touching uh, the border of Sun Tzu's force. God, this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> so, Chang Fei. <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm cheating. Uh, this is silly. This is this is ridiculous. They of course need to border me uh, in order to surrender. This is absurd. So I've got all this food and gold now because I've inherited everything the AI has. Don't actually need to declare war anymore, it seems. Hmm, Sao Chang. Oh, so Sao Chang, actually, actually, hold on. is actually a valid addition to the Wei army, the Sao army. I don't think Sao Chi is because he has no military capability even though he is related to everyone, but Sao Chang certainly is. And once I once I take um, Xin Yi, oh no wait no, 
I will actually rank up once Chang Fei surrenders to me. There we go, and of course Chang Fei surrendered. Oh, we're immediately at war with Sun Tzu. And this should be what, Grand, no, Grand Minister? Thank you, Juga. Sun Tzu is now at war with us. Brilliant. I think this makes me Duke as well. No, just Shu Province. That's okay. More gold is needed. Let's just get everything in position here. Oh, not that I need too much. Oh, that being said, I can just send all of the troops here. And Zhang Fei. And Chang Bao. Oh, I've got another addition for the uh, Juga Liang army. So, father and son. Go take out Chang Fei and retreat back into the city. Not Chang Fei, Chow Tai. Jesus, this is insane. <laughs> and Pang Tong. You move down south to join Juga Liang. So, is anyone else inclined to join me at this point? No. 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 Am I even connected? I'm not bordering Menghuo yet, but I will be shortly. I need more gold. We'll get back to conquering soon. I'm just going to now adjust the titles and deploy for Xinyi. The Sima family finally all together. And if we look at this uh, synergy, quite something. Sima Cho is the odd one out. He hasn't got perfect synergy with everyone, but you know, it's not the end of the world. And of course, Fanshi at the end. We give everyone 8,000 troops. We could give everyone 9,000 troops even. More than enough. Mm, disorder, Gia. Okay, disorder this time, disorder. I should teach you disorder, but I haven't yet. You have rebel strength. Terrible tactics. Disorder. Disorder. So that's all we need. We are, well, now very sort of backline heavy. So I'll get Sima Yi and Sima Shirt. Oh, no, Sima Chow. You'll have to be a. Somewhat awkward frontliner. Oh, who have I pointed over there? Who's that then? Sima you. Yeah, that'll have to do. And then perhaps in the snake formation. Dengai and Sun. And I think Jiang Ren is here. Yes, he is. So why not send Jiang Ren over as well? I forgot to show this, but then that's exactly what I expected. We've got nothing to worry about here at all. We've got, what is it, 20,000 troops on here? 24,000 troops on the way. We've got Zhang Fei and Zhang Bao. 
And I think we'll just sort of pick these units off as they come for us. I mean, did I have arrow formation or did I take it? Yeah, I did take it off, so we're going, going for fish. That's okay. Where is Shahoshi? Brilliant. Okay. You haven't got titles. How the hell has that worked out? Oh, I'm sorry, Wenping. Can't have that. I got too many useful officers and not enough titles to give them. I mean, Pangda, you're a nice officer, but I'm not going to be using you either. So you, you, and you. And you just sort of sit nearby in the forest, hoping not to get caught up in it. Of course he's retreating, because he now realises he's not dealing with Zhang Fei by himself anymore. This is Zhang Fei with Puppet Master Simi. So these four here do have perfect synergy, so this enhances this army even further. So if I get rid of you all, 9,000 troops for everyone. I'll tell you what, 10,000 troops for everyone. Perfect. Shout, disturb, have you got anything that will attack our base? Your intelligence is terrible. So let's have a look. What have we got to teach? Sao Chang. I always like having an officer have a tactic that lets them attack a city directly. Okay, Chukonu is pretty good. And while I'm at it, I should give that two. You have a low strength. Uh, so do you, but it's better than volley. Mm. Shall I get the Sao family officers back? Sao Chen. Sao Pi, Guo Huai, Wu Lian Shi, Shao Ba still here. I don't need you to have that many. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. So get everyone up. Get an overkill, but that's that's the name of the game now. We played very carefully during the start of that campaign, and now we get the fruits of our efforts, which were... Oh, which has the ability to um, overwhelm our enemies when we need to. Only two. That's okay. And the usual trinity of officers that I'm not going to be playing with seriously, but they will help the assault. Might as well use him, I have the troops to spare, by attacking Shou Chan from the side, and the rest of the troops will be used to supply Wu. As this alliance will soon be ended, and the one thing we don't have is numerical superior <laughs> superiority putting it very very mildly. Um Chai Sang, you yep, you're in the firing range range of um Liu Bei at the same time in case we do go to war. He may of course just decide to surrender, but Wu Yang in Nanhai. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna need to keep an eye on that as well. This is going according to plan. And I think so will this. Oh, there we are, here's the Grand Alliance, the unification event, finally. Who is allied against us? Oh no, it's a coalition. Which Meng Huo isn't a part of. Oh, that would be the Grand Unification. Xu Xia Hu Dun's joined, it, joined us, or joined against us. Sun Jian is joined against us. Liu Bei has not, of course. 
Guan Yu and under the guise of Gong Sun Du has. I think Menkua will probably surrender given the circumstances we now find ourselves in, but we won't pressure him into it. He can join us when he's ready. Ah, oh, Yuan Chao. I haven't used you in a long time, I'm terribly sorry about that. So you three, there, up into the mountains, up into the mountains. Okay, well here he comes. Man Kuo wants an alliance, I don't want to give him an alliance because I want him to surrender. He is not going to do too well in this encounter. So I'll move you across one. Just being a little careful. As soon as the archers get in range. There he goes. The goal situation still not brilliant, so I'm being selective with asking people to surrender. I mean, actually, can I build a fort around here anywhere? Oh, I can. Just make sure everyone doesn't rush out of position. Again, overkill. Don't need to do this. But, playing it safe. Gosh, that assault when his tactic fires, he's a... Uh, Really, really powerful officer in disguise. So, we got a little diversion from one. Our Alliance of Liu Bei ends next month. Should be good. Now, Bei Hai, what have we got here? Okay, um, quite the assault force. And who have I got here? Ben, Wen Yan, Wen Quinn, Bao Jin. You know what? We haven't seen Yuan Shao in action in some time. I've got all these officers sitting around not doing anything. Where are you, Yuan Shao? We can uh, we can uh, get some get some action for these three officers. I just want to check as well in terms of my female officers. Supportive, Bianch. Oh! No. Wrong. Um, wrong tab. In terms of my officers. Support so I still only have the two supportive. Ah. That's the same. I've got Fanshi and uh, Bulianshi, and I think they're both out in the field. So, what we want to do for now is get some. Fortifications built. So this isn't going to actually be very easy. Um, or oh, dare I say it possible? Facilities. Get Wen Yang in position. He, he fits in well with Yan Liang and Wen Chao. We've even got a ministrant here. So the plan get him over there, build a catapult tower, retreat. These aren't scary units apart from that Wuhan unit. And if needs be, I'll send 
In fact, not even if needs be, I will send Zhang Fei, Zhang Bao, and Xiao Ho Shi up north to sort of play interference. We've got the option of a surround and conquer here as well, of course, so they're not going to ignore that. I don't have particularly good development here, but that can't be helped. So I'll just sort of pivot everyone north as well as I can. Meet this assault head on. Get the surround off. And then... I should be able to wipe out these two units without too much difficulty. And I got plenty of troops in reserve. Why have I been sat on these? Alright, I'll get some reinforcements over as well. And why not rec oh, I haven't got any gold, that's why I'm not recruiting here. <laughs> Never mind. Not gonna have time to get anything built, built here, so I'll just retreat. And I think I'll use Zhang Fei and Zhang Bao to do most of the heavy lifting instead. Oh look, he's retreating. That seemed silly. Well, in which case, I might as well just get the surround. Get everyone back into position. In fact, you there. You there. You there. You on the front lines. And you just sort of sat in the back. Ginny will be ours. Okay. There's our surround. So this isn't going to be a particularly exciting battle. I think this might be another promotion. Do 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 do. Nope, Ginny is now massive. The question is, will Liu Bei surrender? <laughs> of course he will. Of course he will. I shouldn't have been too surprised about that. I'd be a bit careful. this and to make sure they don't decide to retreat Yang Lang Wen Shao well they're not even here yet well in which case they're gonna miss the action so Wen Chin he is like a sort of mini Yuan not mini Zhao Yu in a way that's always referred to has Annihilator, increases his assault, gets duels, and there's a tactic that causes disorder and damage. All very good. Bao Jin, he's a ministrant, he's just there to um just there to effectively buff up Wen Yang. And Wen Chin, he is Wen Yang's father, I believe. Any intelligence? Nope. So we're just going to go in there and cause some havoc, hoping to allow enough time for where Zhang Fei and Zhang Bao to catch up with the others. Oh, Guo Jia, what are you doing? Why are you rushing through the city? I didn't tell you to do that. That's why, that's why Guo Jia died young. Okay, speaking of not just go dying young, um Okay, back inside the city, this isn't going too well. We just lost five thousand troops. But Oh more than but look at that, that is beautiful. That is a surround and conquer. Oh, they are in a lot of trouble. Uh, 
they are in a lot of trouble. Are you gonna retreat? No, you're not. No, you are not. Or you can do a fair. Oh, you are. And is that the. That is Liu Bei and the entire southeast of the map, mine. Alright. That's okay. These two just. Ah, and fire attack. Fire attack, fire attack. Always fire attack. That's okay. Fire isn't gonna save them from. <laughs> This. It looks like subsequently we are at war with the Shanya. And I am Duke. Thank you very much. I've got the entire entirety of Yang. Thank you for the free XP. And I have. Wuyu, which I think is the southeast. Wuyu, eh? Don't have enough gold to hire it, well, make everyone loyal. What's new there? I've got Zhao Yun, I've got Gan Shi and Mi Shi. I've got so many useful officers now that it's hard to even talk about them all and to do them all justice. So just get the south being completely safe is well, a relief puts it mildly. I wonder if I could actually take the fight to these guys on extreme difficulty. That would be interesting. Not entirely sure about that. We are now. Hmm. It's scary. This defense isn't particularly high. Can I build a fort? There's a lot going on, as we can see. Hmm. So if I move you forward one, you can build a fort there. So you have to just move up. And maybe Gorgia can try this again without dying this time. Be convenient. I know I'm bouncing all over the place at the moment, but there is so much going on. So, up north, this battle here. We just need to move in and attack anyone that's in our way. Hopefully the fire. Oh. Hopefully the fire stops soon and I can clean up. And Shinyi is probably, yeah, back to full. So, as we always do, sack to everyone, tell them all to move in. And I think that's that for this turn. Okay, we've got a miniature battle here. Meng Huo wants an alliance. I'm sorry, Meng Huo. The answer to that is no. Xin Yi is ours. No one wants to. Okay, one person wants to join us. Okay, hold on, let's have a quick look up north. Let's go one speed. How much damage are we doing here? Ah, oh, the fire's gone. Yeah, look at this. Finally, their moment. None of these units are escaping. Now back up down south. Well, 
any unit that gets in range of Sao Chang is going to evaporate. So he's got 3,000 troops there. Wait for a tick to pass. 1200 damage. And then back up north again. Or who I getting in a completely unnecessary duel, but he could in theory have lost. Oh, this is just some complete cleanup. And I can become king now with Jing completely under my control. Very nice. Friendship of the Shanya, who've decided not to attack me, it looks like. So we've got Northern Jing. All his free doctrine EXP. Jing Chu. So, yeah, they are retreating, that is brilliant. Last thing I want to do is war with uh, the Shanyua, at least at the moment. And I've got Zhu Goliang, Zhao Yun, Liu Bei, Zhang Fei, all completely freer and able to wreak havoc. Part of the clean up here. Kill them. You get in there, finish him off. Maybe you don't get into the combat, you just stay there for sort of emotional support. Uh, I'm not too worried if he launches an attack here because I will always be able to. Menwo is of course going to surrender as well, so this gives us two more areas. Okay, they... Well, it's going to set us on fire. Why would they not? And that's Juga Dan, ready for annexation. Well, almost anyway. In what do I need to become emperor now? 35 cities? Or was it 30? Yeah. Was it 35 cities? Number of 25 cities. And I have soon to be 24. Hmm, that's a shame I can't become Emperor in this episode. I wonder how long her Jin has left. Oh, 11 months. Never mind that then. And again, overly cautious. Wait for the surround and conquer, and then attack the city. Ooh, that everyone. Inch by inch. I mean, Sao P there, even 600 defense with goose units, mediocre leadership isn't too bad, 1100 with a cavalry unit is fantastic, he's immune to damage unless it's fire. So, Xin Yi is ours, get the public order up. Might need to send some more officers over here. Looks like I do. Fill the gaps I'm leaving behind everywhere. I'll do this in between the next episodes. I'm just too lazy to pause. Send a few more over here. Send some much needed food. I don't even need that many troops to reinforce. Send 5,000 over. 
I want my own coal. Ah, good enough to pay for everyone. And then... The Seema... Okay, well, we use that many. Seema army can march out. Ah, Deng Ai and Deng Chong, why not? You can get involved as well. Doesn't really matter about my tactics at this point. And we go on the assault. Almost forgot, and she. You are making a big mistake. Sun Chuan. Two more cities. God, I have never before in any other campaign been able to use surrender to as effective a use as I have in this episode. So it does almost feel like cheating. So I am now one city away from becoming emperor. Another province, and we're locked. I look at my doctrine. I got, I think, a rank to level up. I don't even need um, domestics or anymore. So I've got reorganized military, transport facilities. All I need is supply lines. I've got everything I need there. Adherence, where are you? Just for the sake of it. And how are we looking? Okay. Nearly there. Nearly there. What does that unlock? Hmm. Look at that. I got Huang Zhang and Wei Yan. I am filling up with talent faster than I can find use for them. So I'll just go over there. Try and get that uh, rank up as these guys retreat. <laughs> Chow you. That's, that's crazy. Right. Absolutely ludicrous. That's okay. Our Wunan as well. Let's not forget. Point to point to point. Pay all my gold away to reward people. Recruit and drill. Recruit and drill. This guy is uh, not going to do too well. <laughs> Even Den Chong, my weakest unit, is doing okay there. I think I will try to get Emperor this episode before I can finish it. Well, before I end it. So I'll just have everyone attack him and then retreat. Keep paying all my gold. And there's no one else who will want to surrender to me at this point. I think everywhere is built. No. I think everywhere is built up now, though. Two more wealthy cities. I won't matter about that. Why these two can rush off there, take Liang. Oh, look at that. 
a accidental skirmish while retreating. Ooh, with some fairly strong units too. This could be interesting. Sensor is not giving up. Okay. Be nice if we could get a dual Zhang Fei. Okay, Zhang Fei surrounded. Don't get captured, don't get captured, don't get captured. Okay, that's alright. There's still some fight left. However, if you can avoid getting captured as well, that would be good. So if you move over there. What I am going to do is move over the Shu Gang. That would be, of course, Chu Ge Liang, Jiang Wei, Zhao Yun. I have to find a use of Ma Chao eventually as well. Wu Ji, Gong Sun San, Shu Chu. Okay, this is bonkers. Chang Wei. Chang, where is Liu Bei amongst all of this? Fang Tong. Liu Bei. I think that's everyone for now. Women okay. Xiao Pei. Told everyone to retreat after reconquering that area. One can be a little bit intimidating to fight. Ah, and tell you what. I could move over the Ma okay, I'll move the Ma family officers into Zhu Chang. So the Ma force will be my um my, the Ma family will be my army for Zhu Chang. I've got Li Bei's officers coming to Xiao Pei, Shou Chan. Um we'll open up the Wei army to relocate elsewhere. This will be another front for us to use. The city's now gonna fall in Maybe three turns. They are ferociously strong at this point. 3,000 assault, 2,800 defense, 1,300 assault, 1,400 assault, 1,500 siege, 25 demolish. Crazy stats, but. Mm, yeah. It's fantasy now and then. He's retreating. He's not going to retreat. Who have I got left to defend here? A wounded Zhang Fei. No, he's not back in the city yet. No need to worry quite just yet. Plenty of troops in reserve. Oh, the surrounding conquerors are finished. So these two can retreat back in. Okay. Ah, okay. Chang Fei's wife is going to get captured. Maybe. Well, she's not killed at least. And initially, we don't do a huge amount of damage to. Oh, revenge! <laughs> Chang Bao is uh, revenging, avenging his mother. <laughs> One duel deserves another. Yeah, initially we don't do too much damage, but it ramps up quite quickly as we weaken the durability of the city. So that'll be two more turns, maybe. Yeah, there goes the city. Jugo Dan, his selection of officers, will be keen to join me, I am sure. Here they are. The Liu Bei and Friends Gang, now with slightly buffed up Crane, at least. Uh, <laughs> it will be in their turn's time when the uh, policy takes effect. Yeah, it's not particularly that good, even with the technology from the trade. Thousand defense. Not great, but it's a melee formation. Probably still better keeping him in Goose. 
the coalition are trying to launch an attack on Xu Chang. There. Guan Yu's scary, but not necessarily by himself. Oh, many problems still. Rewarding all of these surrendered officers is terribly expensive, but... I mean, what could we do here? We've got Ma Chao, Ma Tang, Ma Dai. Also notably, Huang Chong and Wei Yan there. I mean... The synergy of the Ma family is daft, and they all have top top tier synergy because they're family members and close family members. So, even if we give all of these guys three thousand troops, uh, maybe provoke. No, your intelligence is awful. War cry would be better. Surprise attack. Let's see. More or less equivalent amount of troops. The swarm of the Ma family versus Guan Yu. Okay. Continuously hiring officers in the background. See how this goes. Okay, hold on, let's have a look at our stats. So, with no one um, supportive officer, wife unit. They're not. Brilliant. See, like for like of Guan Yu, but apart from Ma Chao, of course, but these are very small units. Okay. Have I made a mistake? Are you reckless, Wang Chong? Please be reckless. Yes. Good, he's coming for us. So we're at least able to do quite a bit of damage to Guan Yu. We can't fully surround him, but... We can do good enough damage to him. And if I was playing it smart, I would of course um, try and surround and cut him off, but we're just brute forcing it at the moment. Speaking of brute force... Is it time to attack Wang? Yes, give me two moments and I will re well, resume when the armies are all selected and ready for deployment. Ah! Wow! He was loyal! Ah! <laughs> wow! Wow, okay, there's a <laughs> plot twist and a half. Didn't see that coming, should have. Knowing what, <laughs> what happens in the novel. Okay, so that sets us back a little bit. That is annoying. So, Chong Hui has defected. Oof. And he's taking Giant Hui with him. Wow. Okay, that is painful. Um, that's Jiang Fei dead. Okay, it's not over yet. Um, far from it. Good thing we had these troops in reserve that I transported over from the south. Okay. My plan for attacking. Sun Chuan was perhaps a little too ambitious. Oh, look at that. Guan family synergy. No, I don't want this alliance. I want you to surrender. Wang Chong's doing a. Ooh, he's doing a better job than Guan Yu did. I wanted to become emperor in this episode, and that's going to delay us somewhat. But Xiaopi is a very weak city, so we'll be able to we'll be able to finish him off quite easily. So everyone, finish off Wang Chong, retreat back into the city, and 
Ow. I'm speechless. Not often that happens. I think we just have to try and uh, rebuild and recover and... Where have the Liu Bei offices gone? Probably to the capital city? Yeah, looks like it. Hmm. Okay. This gives them their first um, challenge. Anyone else? You could talk about Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we are going to continue on as scheduled. I'm not going to let this interrupt my plans. In fact, you can do that. And I'll still deploy for Sun Chuen. Okay. Ah, uh, Zhang Fei's been captured. That's frustrating, but we'll get him back. So, the Sima army is deploying from Xinyi. And from Xiangyang. Oh shit, Xiangyang, yep. The Sao army is deploying, so we're attacking Sun Chuen from both fronts, hope looking to annex him. Over here, oh, we haven't really got anything to worry about I suppose. Everyone's going to retreat inside and hopefully now with some titles. Ma Chao Ma Dai are going to rush on out. And cause some damage to Tai Chi Si. Oh, and of, of course, in uh, Shou Chen, I've got Liu Bei's officers redeploying with the view of wiping out Xiao Pei. Before uh, Sun Tzu does, anyway. Okay, a bit too ambitious there, Ma Tang. Sun Sir is taking the fight to us. And he's captured as well. Sun Sir is teaching us not to take him for granted. I'll have to keep that in mind. Hmm. These two are not friends with each other, which is a shame because I think think they really should be based on the interactions in the novel, but there we are. Trying to weigh up what I want to do from here. So these two Shan Yong is going to fall without question. Shou Chan should do too. How is Xiao Yu not got a rank? Who the hell has got a title? Title. <sighs> Ganning, Wei An, Zhao Tai. Oh, Mr. No Name Zhao Tai. Yep, sorry about that. So, Chu Billion, Liu Bei's not got one either. This is. Alright, be right back. Oh, there we are. There's our first duel from Ma Chao. He's got 99 more. Eight. Oh, he's wounded. And he loses it. Wow. Okay. Not the result I was hoping for, to be completely honest. Near death Ma Chao. He should still be able to finish off Tai Chi Su, though. Mm, no. Okay, maybe not. Uh, how am I going to fix this? What event is this? I might relocate the strategists and see if they have better luck. So I've got this really hodgepodge army now that is largely based around Liu Bei. Uh, not quite the Guan Yu Zhang Fei army, but 
it will be enough for what we want to do, I think, now. Iron wall will be good for you. Disorder will be good for you. Front line, front line, back line, back line. This, yeah, this should work as unorthodox as it is. I'll just get Gongs and Zan to march ahead and capture that first. This should be okay. Hey, revenge. We killed Taishi Si or captured Taishi Si. Another northern assault. I'll have to genuinely be a bit careful with this one as there's no Zhang Fei to come to the rescue. And if I ask Sensor for not you, um prisoner return. No, I can't even do that, so Yang Liang Wen Chao Yuan Shao. And I got a ministrant here somewhere, Bao Xin. Anyone else? No. Okay, so you're gonna be Of course Yuan Shao hasn't got a title, so he's gonna get eated out of the title screen, not you Hao Chao. There you go. Yuan Shao, you're in here somewhere. Good. So Yuan Liang Wen Chao, Yuan Shao. Bao Xin in reserve, so you can have 8,000 troops each. Bao Xin, you can have 3,000 as you're just there as a ring. And Wen Yang, you can be there to carry out. Surround. So well, it's a good place to fight, so not that. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to simply choose to fight. Didn't set my tactics, I was close. We're going to choose to fight outside the city, which is highly risky because of how low on troops it is. But it is where we stand the best chance of taking the fight to them. So, in fact, you on, shall you go there? Yan Lian, you go here. Wen Chao, you go here. Bao Xin, you go there. And Wen Yang, you need to take the scenic route around. In fact, I just want you to go into the forests really and find the narrowest point where we can cut them off if we need to. You're on your way. You're on your way there. You're getting in position, and you are basically in position. God, Zhang Hui, why did you betray me to get yourself killed? I am frustrated beyond words that Zhang Hui rebelled to die, much like he did in the novel. <laughs> Guess this is a campaign where we won't be using Zhang Hui. Thanks to his own uh, indiscretions, or anywhere here we can build catapults. No, it's all swamp. All swamp, okay. You're all getting ready. I imagine you can build a fortress by here. Yes, you can. Just wait there. You wait there. Let's see if he deploys. So Guan Yu's doing another minor assault here, which somewhat distracts me from being able to reinforce Wan, 
this city's gonna fall within a few turns. I'm setting up to take back Shao Pei. And Ding Fang is getting somewhat close. But I hope to be in a position of relative strength. Don't really want Bao Xin getting involved in the fighting. But we'll see if this army can hold off against this army. No issues here at all. Shang Rong is much like we've seen previously before. And a further surrounding combat. So that's another two turn job. Make sure I get these areas built up. They can retreat now. I think it's safe for you to march on the city. Even if Zhuge Liang's running late, because I forgot to tell him to catch up. We don't necessarily need him. And... Oh dear. They're getting quite close to us, so I'm going to try and bait him away into the forest. I perhaps should have used snake formation if he had it, but hindsight. Okay. They are going for... Oh, look at that. City will be ours. They are going for Wenyang, it seems. Shanyang is... Collapsing. Okay. Despite being under constant siege, Xu Chang is developing. And let's just bait them deeper and deeper into the forest to the point where we can. Oh, ooh, okay. Never mind, they got the same idea that I have. Okay, retreat. We'll just fight a traditional battle, I think. You can retreat back inside and we'll take the fight to uh, Guan Yu once again. Guo Chia is quite literally snaking around. I'll try and get that surround and conquer if I can. As Wan is quite a well fortified city. Sun Chuan himself and all of his best officers are going to be here. Especially once they relocated from Shanyong. In one more turn. Oh dear, Guo Jia is being chased. Shanyong is ours, no surprise there. Trading everyone. Xiao Pei is ours. Is Jiang Wei not in the city? Hold on. Yeah, I know you too. Especially for betraying us, they are definitely getting executed. It's treacherous. Okay, so what does this? Emperor! Haha, look at that. We got there in the end. And we're of course going to be Jin. No, we can't threaten Xu Chang. I'll let them just retreat back inside. Okay, I'll finish off these defensive battles before ending what's becoming quite a long episode by, the way, by how things feel. Hmm. Where are you, Giant Wei? I think I even gave you one of my nice weapons. Yeah, you did betray him, right? You haven't really come back to me? You have not. Who have you joined? Chow Tai. Hmm. Okay. I can see what's about to happen here. 
Wen Chao in his goose formation is going on a suicidal charge against Chen Wu, so I'm going to have Bao Xin try to intercept. And Yan Liang is doing the same thing with Ding Feng, so I'm going to have Yuan Shao move into position as well. Aside from that, I've got troops now to spare, so Wen Yang. He might even be able to get a duel out of this. Who can I beat quicker? Probably Ding Feng. Did she see? He's not going to. Oh, I'll just release him. He's not going to join us. And Guo Jia is. What? Sao Shu? Hold on, hold on. What? 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 What the hell just happened? I am at a complete loss as to why their loyalty is so low. I have just lost the core of one of my armies, but I... I... No idea. I'm... I didn't spend that long in the field. I have no idea what caused their loyalty to drop so low. They simply defected. Annoying. Certainly annoying, but can't be helped. He's just see free. He hasn't even joined anyone. He's just left. No reason at all. Okay, so back up north. Ah, uh, what are you doing, Wen Chao? Well, there's Wen Yang's duel. I said he might get one. That's what I wanted. <laughs> and Sao Chang too. So I've lost the Sao army. For no reason at all. Just one whole army gone. All the officers defected. That's a horrible, horrible way to end the episode. So, P, I suppose you'll be leaving us too as well. Well, good thing I've got Liu Bei's officers as long as, um,. As long as he too doesn't defect. Well, Shaho Ba might need to get some use after all. Okay. So, we should be ready to march now. That's what we do. Head forward, somewhat slowly. I'm sure I'll take one now, but boy, does it feel like a hollow victory. Zhu Chang again, still under constant assault. But, oh, I will try to avoid using you too. Wang Chang Wei and Pang De. Mm. I'll tell you what. Just go ahead in arrow formation. Why not? As I say, which my final words. Oh, sorry. Last words, I should say, because we always get demolished in our formation. But I am annoyed. So I'm going to play recklessly. At least this went well. 
which isn't always the case. The rest of the army retreating. And that actually did go well. I must have got some tactics off. Okay. Hua Chong and Jiahu Bao with an Ah and Jiang Phase 3. Brilliant. Okay, that went really well. Uh, Jiahu Ba and um, Hua Chong. The Annihilator units. Do I have any others? Quite possibly. I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, move back one. We are very nearly ready. Oh, am I going to get there in time? Oh, no, I'm not. He's going to cut off the surround. Are you going to get out? All right, we'll have to... Catch it. We'll have to do this manually. Not that I think that's too much of a concern. We are overwhelmingly powerful with our one loyal army. Just move everyone up into the city. See if we can chain these tactics off. And Sanchuan actually isn't going to attack us. Jailing the trade. That's quite amusing. Oh, 88 loyalty. There we go. You were shown. I don't know what those two are doing there. Keep up rewarding the loyalty for everyone. Very understand. In fact, I'll move Jang Ren back there so he can just as a precaution act as a bodyguard for the arrow formation units. Sao P now might as well just act as a single confidant for Sima Yi, which. Hmm, Mountain Warlord. Ah, oh, we'll, we'll sort of hold out against Shadow down here. No harm in that, and. How many months of alliance have we got? Two months? I think once we get her Jin surrendering to us, we can get Sao Ri simultaneously, and that'll give us some more South <laughs> family officers to replace the ones we've lost. Yeah, so San Chuan really is not going to deploy against us. And as a result, his city is going to fall. No, I will not ally you. I just don't need it. Their morale is really low, so even if they. <laughs> oh, Jiang Wei, nice to meet you. Welcome back. There's a silver lining, if we ever needed one. Jiang Wei has returned. And we've got some more backup officers to hire.
此事请过目。非常感谢。请确认一下。Okay, so no, they will not join us. Gonna finishing off, finish off the recruiting. Oh, he won't join us. He won't join us. And she, I don't think I've encountered her before. And. There we go, there's, a, there's one more potential annexation on the table now. That's annoying. But, let's see. So we've acquired plenty of additional officers, including one more potential core I'm going to talk about in the next episode that I've only just become aware of. Let's see, will you bow down? Yes, you will. Perfect. Guan Yu keeps making these really, really annoying suicidal attacks on Xu Chang. There is simply no purpose for it. He's never going to be able to take the city. He's just on making me do tedious work, destroying his unit. So you know what? I'm just going to let him die attacking the city. Plan here. Send Gong Sun San out with Dash, take that, and then hopefully surround and conquer the area that will trap these two units off, and potentially those two at the same time, who are coming for Beihai once again. To be honest, might not even need that surround and conquer, they're getting eviscerated. And we've got Sauri, which is what I was holding off for before ending the episode. Xiaopei, Beihai, Wan, Xiaopei. Nothing to worry about at all. Okay, I got gold, I got plenty. 20,000 gold. Oh, ho, ho. I got gold, yes, but it's never enough. Nice. So, we have expanded dramatically in this episode. 
This is effectively in spirit, I think, the final episode of the series. I will finish off the campaign, but this coalition is outnumbered. We've got 70,000 troops, 170, 250, 300, 550, 580 rounding up. We outnumber everyone combined, and I think we only need 70% of the map and 35 cities to even enact the, the uh, event that lets us win. But we do have some uh, new officers that we can make use of now. To me. I will, I think, talk about some of them in the next episode, but I just want to point out we've got Sao Rui, Sao Pi's son, who is also friends of Sima Yi, who is also friends of Sao Rui, and he's got Goose as well, so we've got... It's hard to make use of all of them, of course, but we've got another option there. Chang He is not in the army, oh well. We've also got Sun Jian to the south, who could be fought off quite easily if I wanted to go through the tedium of marching through the south. Sha Hudun, who actually has plenty of troops in... Oh god, we got a lot of troops in gates as well. Are you there, Chang He? No, you are not. There's another confidant of Sima Yi. Well, either way, we have grown dramatically. This has probably been a longer than average episode, but half of these cities, at least quite possibly, no, definitely more than that, were conquered through diplomatic manoeuvres, which is a rarity in the um, Three Kingdoms games. So I've actually had a huge amount of fun this episode, even with that huge betrayal right towards the end. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode too, it's uh, going to be on the longer side. Uh, we've got maybe two more episodes left in the series, I think Sun Sir is the only uh, threat that we face and we outnumber him 3-1. Uh, to one. And we could always get Ga we could get uh, Guan Yu back as well. I think we still got some. We got uh, Chang Fei back in Xiao Pei with us as well. Yes, we do. And look at that Chen Liu's. These troops are scattered all over the place. Next episode, we can easily make a move and attack Chen Liu. And um, we've got these troops. We could attack uh, Pu Yang. Ping Yuan is emptying itself. But they are attacking Bei Hai. So we got action in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed the series, hope you've joined this episode, and I will see you next time.